Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our biology playlist. In previous videos, we talked about muscles and bones. Today, let's review the musculoskeletal system. Your bones provide a site for attachment of muscles and then get the insertion closer to the origin and hashtag contraction. Now, let's get started. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. First, muscles. Remember myosin and actin. When actin slides over myosin, this is contraction. Actin and myosin are myofilaments. Group them together, you get myofibrils. Lump them together and now you have a muscle fiber lump them together and you have a muscle some cool muscle facts pause and review types of muscles we have striated and smooth or non striated striated could be skeletal muscles or cardiac muscles skeletal muscles are voluntary cardiac involuntary skeletal muscles are multinucleated cardiac muscles on the other hand are mononucleated what is the gap junction or nexus? It's a gap between several muscle fibers. Why is that important? So that just one nerve fiber supplies many muscle fibers simultaneously. So that your entire muscle contracts as one unit. Hashtag syncytium in synchrony. And this is a comparison table among the three types of muscles. Pause and review. When it comes to smooth muscles, everything is no, but calmodulin, yeah. The muscle fiber is surrounded by an endomesium, then perimesium, then epimesium. Of this lovely hierarchy, where is the actual muscle cell? It's the muscle fiber. Each muscle is made of a bundle of muscle fibers or myofibers or the actual muscle cells. Each muscle fiber is made of myofibrils. Each myofibril is made of myofilaments, i.e. actin and myosin. Actin is thin filament. Myosin is thick filament. Here is the A band. Here is the I band. Myosin extends its cross bridges to grab the actin and pull it towards the midline or the M line shortening the size of the muscle and causing the insertion to come closer to the origin hashtag contraction when your muscle contracts the i band will shorten the a band will not change the h zone also shortens the entire muscle shortens myosin the thick filament has two heavy chains and four light chains please pause and review skeletal muscles are here they are supplied by cholinergic fibers that secrete acetylcholine that's why they are cholinergic and the receptor waiting on the muscle is nicotinic sub m m for muscle here is a cholinergic axon terminalis releasing acetylcholine skeletal muscles have nicotinic sub m smooth muscles and cardiac muscles have muscarinic or just m receptor let's tell a story the nerve impulse is unidirectional there is some delay at the neuromuscular junction it gets tired calcium increases release of acetylcholine i.e boosts neuromuscular transmission magnesium is the opposite Nerve impulse here, hashtag depolarization, which activates and opens the calcium channel, leading to influx of calcium ions, will rupture the vesicle, Pew! exocytosis. Acetylcholine is now released into the neuromuscular junction. Acetylcholine will bind its nicotinic sub M receptor on the skeletal muscle, triggering another action potential in the muscle, and then Actin and myosin will bind together. Myosin will pull actin closer to the midline, getting the insertion closer to the origin, shortening the muscle size. Hashtag contraction. When the action potential reaches your muscle, it goes and traverses the muscle via the T tubule or transverse tubule. This will help release the calcium from its jail or prison. What's the name of that prison? The terminal cistern of the sarcoplasmic reticulum, which is a modified smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The calcium will leave the jail through two doors ryanodine receptor and dihydropyridine l-type channel now calcium is free calcium will bind to troponin c troponin c will take that tropomyosin and pull it away from the active site now the active site of actin is exposed to myosin so the cross bridges of myosin will grab the active site of actin pulling actin closer to the midline 
hashtag contraction. Which one happens first, the electricity or the light? The answer is electricity has to pass first, then the light bulb will emit light. Similarly, your muscle has to have electricity first, action potential, followed by muscle contraction. Here is the story of actin. Please pause and review. Remember that tropomyosin is hiding the active sites of actin. Here are the three troponins, troponin T, troponin C, troponin I. Please pause and review. A comparison between the absolute refractory period and the relative refractory period. Absolute refractory period has high moral standards. No matter how strong a stimulus you give me, I'm not gonna contract. I do not compromise. But a relative refractory period is like a $2 hooker. Well, I'm not gonna contract unless you give me a supra threshold stimulus, something robust. Then I will react. Next, muscle metabolism, which depends on the type of the muscle. We compared between these two before. Please pause and review. Your muscles need ATP, the energy currency in your cell. But in order to liberate the energy of this ATP, you need to break it down via ATPase. Where can I find that ATPase? It's in the myosin head. Your muscle needs oxygen for aerobic metabolism. But what if I ran out of oxygen? You will shift to anaerobic glycolysis and you will not make as many ATP molecules. During strenuous exercise, in the first 5 seconds, your muscle is using ATP. In the first 15 seconds, which include 5 plus 10, your muscle needs creatine kinase or creatine phosphokinase. These two together are known as the phosphagen system because I repeat the word phosphate a lot. What if I ran out of these? Then you switch to glycolysis to make two net molecules of ATP. But what if glycolysis is not enough? My papa drives a Rolls Royce. Your muscle will switch to the Rolls Royce of metabolism, the oxidative phosphorylation, i.e. TCA cycle and electron transport chain, giving you net 38 molecules of ATP. The story of the oxygen debt was mentioned in previous videos. Have you ever wondered why you remain short of breath even after you finished exercising? Yeah, because I need more oxygen to reform ATP, remove lactic acid, refill the myoglobin with oxygen. We're done with muscles. Let's talk about bones and cartilages. Humans have an endoskeleton, not an exoskeleton. Your endoskeleton has axial part in the midline on your axis and a pendicular part to the left and to the right. Your bone is epiphysis and diaphysis and metaphysis in between. Your bone is also articular end or the head and a shaft. The outer shell is compact bone, the inner shell is spongy bone near your medulla. Here is a comparison between the compact bone and the spongy or trabecular bone. Please pause and review. If you are a healthy person, you want your bones to be lamellar and not woven. Osteoblasts build up bone, but osteoclasts cut down bone. And when you cut down bone, you release the calcium from within the bone and into the bloodstream. Here is a comparison between osteoblasts and osteoclasts. Pause and review. Your bone is made of what? M and M, matrix and minerals. Tell me about the matrix. Type 1 collagen, growth factors, organic matrix. Tell me about the minerals, calcium and phosphate, known as hydroxyapatite. What kind of collagen should I find in the matrix of the bone? Type 1 is in bone, but type 2 is in cartilage. How do you make collagen? This is how you make collagen. Do not forget the story of post-translational modification. You will need vitamin C for hydroxylation. If you lack vitamin C, you can develop scurvy. What happens in scurvy is that your collagen is so weak. That's why your blood vessels are so weak. Your hair is not robust, it gets curly, and you start bleeding from your gums. Histologically speaking, your bone has the haversion system. Please pause and review. Osteoclasts in your bone are the equivalent of monocytes in the blood, which are the equivalents of macrophages in the tissue, which are equivalent of Kupfer cells in the liver, microglia in the brain, etc, etc. You need calcium to have healthy bone, but you also need vitamin D, which boosts calcium in the blood. It can also boost calcium in the bone depending on the circumstances. 
Where do I get vitamin D from? In order to get the active form of vitamin D, you need a robust kidney, a marvelous liver, good old sunlight, and you need to expose your bare skin to sunlight. Parathyroid hormone raises calcium but lowers phosphate in the bloodstream. PTH is pro-serum calcium, it's anti-serum phosphate. It's a phosphate trashing hormone. Calcitonin is a doofus. It lowers everything in the bloodstream. Vitamin D3 is the best. It's the new generation. It obeys the father by raising calcium. But unlike the father, it has learned from the mistakes of the previous generations. Look at these two doofuses. They lower phosphate in the blood. Why is that dangerous? Where do you think you'll get your ATP from? You need phosphate for that. Oh, and that's why vitamin D raises your serum phosphate. We're done with bone. Let's talk about cartilage. Cartilage is not hard as bone. They are firm, a little softer than bone, but of course, still harder than fat. So there are three degrees here, hard, firm, or soft. It's like Gordon Ramsay using his face to illustrate the difference between well done, medium, and rare steak. Well done is hard, medium is firm, rare is soft. Bones had type 1 collagen, but cartilage, cartilage has type 2. Bones are vascular, cartilage are avascular. How do they get their nutrition from? Diffusion from surrounding tissue. Bones have osteocytes, but the hero of the cartilage is the chondrocytes. Bones have calcified matrix, that's why they're hard, but cartilages have non-calcified matrix, that's why they are firm. What is the name of the pathological conditions where my cartilage start to calcify? It is called chondrocalcinosis, seen in cases of pseudogout or calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate deposition disease. Pause and review. Type 3 collagen is in your blood vessels. That's why scurvy causes bleeding gums. A joint is a site of articulation between two bony surfaces. This is the medical definition of a joint, not to be confused with the Joe Rogan definition. Here is a bone, here is a bone, here is a joint in between. We need an articular cartilage to decrease friction. The space between the two bones will be filled with synovial fluid and surrounded by a synovial membrane. Joints have three types, fibrous joints, minimal movement such as the sutures of your skull, fibrocartilaginous joints allow for limited movement such as your pubic symphysis, limited is still greater than minimal. This pubic symphysis can expand during childbirth. Synovial joints on the other hand provide the widest range of motion such as your shoulder joint. What's the name of the condition where I have inflammation of my synovial joints? synovitis seen in rheumatoid arthritis the only synovial joint in your spine is c1 and c2 the atlantoaxial and that's why patients with rheumatoid arthritis have atlantoaxial subluxation because it's the only joint in your vertebral column that have synovial joint Medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. Do you think patients with rheumatoid arthritis might suffer from knee problems, wrist problems, shoulder problems, costovertebral problems, and TMJ problems? You can bet the rent money. They can. If you like this weird video, you can enjoy my renal physiology course available to download at medicosisperfectionalis.com. Learn about the cardiac output and the effect of arterial blood volume and the renal blood flow, renal plasma flow, etc. I also have a general pharmacology course teaching you about pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, and all the math equations. Get some Joe Rogan action and check out my CNS pharmacology course also at medicosisperfectionalis.com. And for a limited time, you can get a 50% discount towards any course on my website by using discount code ARDS. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.